giant robots, precision tools, high-end design, and supersized factories. This is what it takes to make a global car. Now, one Indian company has risen to the challenge. Automotive manufacturer Mahindra will design and create an Indian-made SUV. But this will be no ordinary car. It has to measure up to any model anywhere. It needs to be able to take over the roads in India and beyond. It needs to be a truly global SUV. The development of a car is, in a sense, managing the future. So you have to get yourself into a time machine and figure out what young people want. The design and styling team is where the journey begins. They start making sketches, anticipating future trends from younger buyers. Whenever you're creating something for the future, you always have to get in touch with customers or presumers, those who can predict the future. It was very, very complex because, uh, as I said, we wanted a next generation product. XUV 500 was to be a global product and not just to be made for India. Form, there are very clear lines, there are a particular quality about the stance that's derived from the cheetah. So you have the pounce on the fenders, you have the haunch over the rear wheel arch, you have the muscle cut line on the belly. To reduce the mass on the metal mass on the body side, all these are the connects to the cheetah. When the customer sits inside uh, the vehicle, the customer should transform. The customer should feel the power. For every department working on the XUV 500, feel the power becomes their new mantra. The new Mahindra Chakan factory is up and running. A massive greenfield facility. It is one of the most advanced plants in the world. So if you look at the enormity of task that we had. Uh, it's not just that we're designing a new product uh, with a young team. Uh, we also were setting up an R&D center simultaneously and setting up a plant simultaneously. So if you add the three together, one would think that we are crazy. Uh, you'll never succeed uh, doing all of these things ground up. They cannot collapse. The pieces of the puzzle are coming together for the XUV team they get the assembly line ready for action. First, the sheet metal is pressed into various body parts of the XUV 500. These parts are transported to the body shop, where they're put together both manually and with robots, doing precision welding. The fully formed body then moves on to the paint shop, and then painted both manually and by robots. The painted body is sent to the trim chassis and finish shop, where everything from its tires and transmission to its upholstery, cockpit to windshield wipers are fitted. After final testing, the car is ready to drive. But the team is still a long way from mass-producing road warriors. It looks great, but it also has to meet global safety standards. During a crash test, the vehicle is exposed to extreme destructive forces in a controlled environment. It's a business of passion and you don't succeed simply by engineering excellence or manufacturing excellence or marketing excellence. You, you succeed because of passion of people. There's an unveiling of the car, the lights dim, and then you know very quickly afterwards whether you have hit bullseye or not. The success of the XUV 500 has been unmatched in the Indian automobile industry. Not only was it sold out for the first 12 months after its launch, it also bagged 22 awards during that time. It was the fastest to reach sales of over 50,000 for premium SUVs above 10 lakhs. For the pundits, critics and consumers alike, the first Indian-built global SUV was a hit.